The technical secrets from the McLaren team's MCL39 have finally been revealed at this past weekend's Canadian Grand Prix and it is all thanks to these very sneaky photos taken of their front suspension which finally showcases us the bare bones of the system through which McLaren have designed for this year's MCL39 and how it has enabled them to have such fantastic tyre management across the race weekends in 2025. Now what exactly is it that the McLaren team have designed within their front suspension and how does it exactly help them manage the front tyres in terms of tyre management and thermal degradation? That is what we will be unravelling right now. But very briefly before we go into that, we need to just have a quick explanation of how the front suspension works and all of the moving parts within it. The front suspension on a Formula 1 car is of a universal design, comprising of a top wishbone, lower wishbones and a track rod. Now what isn't universal and changes up and down the grid is the geometries of the front suspension as well as also something McLaren have done quite differently from the rest of the field for 2025 and that is the focus of this video and that is the lower wishbones. Now normally what happens on a front suspension and the lower wishbone is essentially it is two pieces which come and join together right towards the real rim as it attaches into the brake carbon wheel rim itself. Now for 2025 McLaren have kept that separate and that is where the big impact in terms of their advantage comes from because it allows them to do a couple of things and this technique or this change in terms of design is something akin to past iterations of kind of front suspension designs that we've seen that have been outlawed. Now one of those such things is the Mercedes DAS system as well as their front and rear linked suspension from I believe around 2014. Now with McLaren's use of two separate lower legs this gives them a virtual steering axis and essentially it is all about toe in and toe out and this affects the drag of the Formula 1 car as well as the tyre temperature and what McLaren I believe are doing with this different lower wishbone setup is essentially changing the toe angles on the straight as well as in the corner and this keeps their front tyres in their working window that they have within the parameters they have to set it in. Now before we go any further in with this video, if you've enjoyed the tech secrets that I've unraveled within this video, do hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications for all future content like this here on F1 Unraveled. Right, let's jump back into the video. And so essentially this is mimicking the DAS system of the Mercedes, where it was the pull or push of the Mercedes driver's steering wheel that activated whether they had toe in or toe out. That is essentially what this system is replicating with the turning of the steering wheel. So of course you want different angles of toe for either being on the street or in the corners. And just like for the DAS, when in the corners they are putting the toe angle more outwards. And of course, once back in the straights, the toe angle of the front tires returns to what would be, I suppose, the neutral position that they have the car set up in. So, for example, this gives them multiple advantages over their rivals throughout a race weekend, not only in qualifying, but also more importantly, and I think a bigger advantage would come in the race situations. So even when we go to high track temperature circuits or circuits around the calendar where we have a huge array of say high energy throughout the tracks in terms of high speed corners where there's more pressure and kind of force and load put on the tyres as a whole both front and rear this system enables them to keep at least the front tyres and the temperature within it within the parameters they want it at. So essentially 
This means the tires are not overheating. This then of course has multiple knock-on effects throughout a stint where they, as we saw last year, can go seemingly quicker at the end of a stint, which should theoretically not be true or not be what happens because of course by then, tire life has gone out of the tire so you should get progressively slower as a result but that is in fact the total opposite of what happens with mclaren they can seemingly get quicker and quicker and it's all to do with this unlinked lower front wrist bones of their mcl 39 now to kind of stay within this front suspension let's also talk about what happened at last weekend's canadian grand prix mclaren introduced a revision to this front suspension with the aims of negating what is being described as a numb sensation from both drivers at varying parts of the season and essentially what they're trying to do is give both drivers in Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri a lot more feel out of their car through the steering wheel and perhaps that is something which is going to give Lando Norris a little bit more of a upper hand in terms of his overall feel out of the car to extract the full performance that he has available to him which we have not seen currently in 2025. Although on evidence which we've seen in Canada I don't think that's been the case now has it. Enough of that but what you can see and we can say with certainty is this ingenious piece of design on separating the lower wrist bones has given them an advantage over that of the rest of the grid. It's given them a superior advantage in terms of tire management, in terms of temperatures. They're able to get the tires into the optimum working window in qualifying and keep it within that parameter. And in the same manner, also in race situations. So it is an advantage that will last for the season and all of the knowledge that they've learnt from this season of course is transferable for all future seasons and so it is a case of all the other teams playing catch up which could be quite difficult to manage. And that is where I'm going to wrap this video up. So there you have it, the secrets from McLaren have finally been exposed for us all to see. Now whether teams can make use of this, use of this and design their own front suspension in a similar fashion for maybe next season, only time will tell once we actually see the cars hit the track. And of course McLaren can make use of this advantage for the remainder of 2025 and beyond. And that is where I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, do leave a like on this video. And of course, if you're new here to F1 Unraveled and like the technical secrets being broken down, hit the subscribe button down below to join us for all future tech content here on the channel. All right, everyone, enjoy your week and I will see you all later.